All right, for the very last lesson for this unit, uh, we are going to close. We are going to close out this unit with our solving quadratic equations with completing the square. Now, uh, with our lesson, uh, the previous lesson, uh, we learned how to use the uh, uh, completing the square method to obtain the um, to obtain the um, uh, what is it called? The vertex form. And uh, as we said before, it is going to be very influential, uh, very useful uh, as we do some um, um, uh, application problems because sometimes we want to know where the maximum is, where the minimum is. Uh, and in that case, the uh, information about the vertex would be very useful. Okay. Now uh, we can also use it to solve. And now, before we start, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about these uh, review questions first, okay? Uh, it's going to be easy, okay? It's going to be easy, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and look at these quick review questions first, okay? Let's look at number one. It says, uh, what is the solution of the following equation? X squared is equal to four. Now, uh, before we uh, get, the, get to the answer, I just want to make sure that we are all perfectly clear about a word right here. It's the word solution. And ever since day one of this course, I kept saying and reminding that uh, the meaning of the word solve, which is the verb, is to find the value of values that would make a statement true and uh, and the number or the the number or the numbers that will make the statement or the equation true it's known as the solution so in other words when we say what is the solution of the following equation we are simply asking hey you know how many numbers okay and what are the numbers uh, if that's uh, more than one, uh, what are the numbers that would make this x squared equals to four true? Okay, so now if you look at this lens, how would you choose the answer? Okay, so I would say uh, for most people, they are going to answer, uh, I mean, if they're going to answer wrong, they will probably pick A because they are not really thinking about the possibility of negative two times negative two. So the correct answer is, see, uh, it's two and negative two, because uh, if you have uh, two square, it's equal to four. If you have a negative two square, it's also equal to four. So now that brings me to uh, a little applicational side of things, okay, and that is, how do we solve this on paper? Okay, now we look at the equate. Look at the equation. We could tell it's two and negative two, but how can we build a more consistent kind of uh, understanding so that we will always nail, okay, and not miss one of the two answers? Okay, uh, so the way we do this is that whenever we take a square root of x, okay, it's x, uh, we are going to say, well, in this case, we are going to take the uh, plus or minus square root. And, uh, and then we say, oh, what's plus or minus square root of 4? Then you have, well, square root of 4, it's 2. So that's why you have plus or minus 2. And that's why you have 2 and negative 2 as the answer. Okay, so uh, so again, if you have x squared, you are going to take the square root of x squared. Uh, we're going to have a plus or minus square root because we just don't know. We just don't know if we are going to have the positive 2 or the negative 2 as our answer. So we're going to have two answers right here. All right, now what is the solution for the following equation, which is x plus 3 squared is equal to 4? Okay, now using what we just talked about, we'll say, oh yeah, let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides, right? But in this case, uh, it will end up with uh, plus or minus square root because we are taking the square of x plus three. I mean, it's taking the square root of x plus three square. So square root and square, they will be, you know, cancel each other out. And so you have plus or minus two 
and then uh, you're going to subtract 3 on both sides. So you have uh, minus 3 plus or minus 2. Now to uh, look at this, if uh, to get the actual answer, we will consider uh, both scenarios. So x mi uh, minus 3 plus 2 would be uh, negative 1. Uh, or x equals to uh, negative 5. Okay, so uh, we have these two answers. Now, if you say, are, are you sure? Are you sure that they are the solutions? No problem. We can just go ahead and look at the uh, original equation right here and just say, all right, let's go ahead and put this back in here. Okay, negative 1 is x. Then negative 1 plus 3, it's positive 2. 2 squared is, okay, it's 4. That's a true statement. And then negative 5 put in here. Okay, so negative 5 plus 3. 3 is, it's what? It is uh, negative 2, and negative 2 squared is equal to, well, negative 2 times negative 2, it's 4. So, hey, so we've got that same answer. Uh, so, yeah, so we can now confirm that the two solutions are uh, x equals to negative 1 or x equals to negative 5, okay? Or, no, actually, I mean uh, uh, negative 1 and negative 5. Okay, so they are both going to make this statement true. Okay, all right. So, so that's a review of some earlier concepts and uh, just knowing, revisiting what solution means. Now, uh, as I said, this is going to be uh, our final lesson on uh, the uh, unit so far. And then we will talk about completing square. Now, so far, we learned a couple of ways to solve. OK, uh, we learn how to solve by factoring. You know, you have this. Remember, uh, it's equal to zero. So we say, oh, go ahead and solve for it. So we say, well, if two things are multiplied to get you zero, that means one of the two things must equal to zero. So x equals to a negative two, x equals to positive three. OK, so we have either one of these two okay, as the solution. All right. So, and then, uh, and then we say what? Uh, well, that's one way to do it. That's by factoring. Okay, that's by factoring. Uh, number two, the second thing that we will have is our uh, quadratic formula. Okay, quadratic formula. Uh, that it's the uh, x equals to negative b plus or minus uh, b squared minus 4ac, which is called the discriminant, remember? And then all over 2a. And again, just a reminder, negative b over 2a, it's the uh, axis of symmetry, remember? Okay, so, so we have two methods here, okay, which is, you know, cool. Now, where do we have, uh, and then we have the completing the square, which we'll see in a moment. And I'm going to make a claim, and now you will be the judge, okay? Before I learned it well, I would say I don't need completing the square. But after I did it more in the past, when I was a student, when I was still a student, I have a thought. The thought is that completing the square would be somewhere in between factoring and quadratic formula, meaning that I believe completing the square is actually easier than doing the quadratic formula. Okay, so that's my claim. And you will be the judge, okay? You get to tell, okay? But you have to learn it anyways. But you tell me uh, later on, okay, uh, whether you would agree with me that completing the square is the same. I mean, it's easier than quadratic formula, okay? So we'll take a look. So next video, we will start looking at some examples on how we will solve for these uh, solve these uh, quadratic formula uh, quadratic equations with completing the square okay